Great action here in Branson, Missouri. We have reached the business end of the LFA 21 card. Co-main event time. What a matchup we have. Two extremely talented fighters as 15 and one, Grady Hurley throws down with nine and three, Kevin Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome making his way to the blue corner, Kevin Trailblazer Holland. Always solid moves from Kevin Holland. The 24-year-old fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas. Nine and three overall, four and one in his last five. Five wins coming by way of KO and knockout, four submissions and Pat, he has faced some top competition. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, he's, that nine and three record has been earned. Most definitely, he's a really talented young guy. Great mover, really good striker, I tell you what. And he's good on the ground also. Not Lovato Jr. level good on the ground, but he is solid on the ground. A good overall athlete. And it was nice to see him open up in meetings this time. Yeah. He was not a friendly character last time we talked to him, but this time he was, I mean, he, he was great. I think a lot of that has to do with him uh, coming from 170 fighting here at 185 tonight so he has better cardio energy and uh he's just a nicer guy at 185. yeah again he is coming off an all-out brawl with curtis millinder at lfa 13 lost by way of decision that snapped a five fight winning streak please welcome his opponent making his way to the lfa octagon fighting out of the red corner grady sue hurley the dog 34 in 2014. Let's break down the numbers for our co-main event. 24-year-old Kevin Holland is 12 years younger than the 38, th excuse me, 36-year-old Hurley, who weighed in two pounds heavier. Both fighters with long reaches. Holland three inches longer in the arms and legs, though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. And it's scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA middleweight division, brought to you by Quantum CBD H2O, the next level of hydration. Experience the entourage effect, feel the power. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This Kung Fu style fighter stands six foot three, weighed in 183.3 pounds. He holds a professional record, nine wins, three defeats, with five wins coming by way of knockout four via submission. Training out of Phalanx MMA, and fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin Trailblazer Holland. His opponent across the octagon fighting out of the red corners, a freestyle fighter standing six foot one, weighed in 185.5 pounds. He holds a professional record, 15 wins, one defeat, with six wins coming by way of knockout, four via submission. Training out of UFM, Agama fight team, and fighting out of Tupelo, Mississippi, Grady Sue Early. Your referee is Mike England. All right, fellas, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. You got any questions, sir? Oh, no more questions. You got any questions, sir? No, sir. Touch them up right there. God bless you. Come out fight. Yes, sir. <laughs> as even as a fight as you can get, final right, odds from MMAOddsBreaker.com and Nick Kalikas. Both fighters come in at a minus 120. We are set to go here in the LFA middleweight division. Kevin Holland in the gray shorts and Grady Hurley in the white. MMA debut for Grady Hurley. Kevin Holland 0 and 1 in the promotion so far. Holland knowing he wants to stay out that cage with Grady. Grady just at 36 years old, knows the clock's ticking, excited to fight who he, a guy who he said is just the future of the sport. His game plan was to use his size and strength against him. This is where he needs to keep the fight if it's not on the ground. Ms. Holland is very, very fast with his strikes. Oh, up, up, you all right? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Be careful now. 
Holland, after two disappointing showings on Access TV, vowed to show his true self tonight. It's his fourth fight of 2017 already. But again, this one at 185. And hey, give him credit. He took a, a fight on two days' notice against Rafael Lovato Jr. Right, absolutely. And he stuck uh, Lovato a little bit with some good shots in that fight. Gave him a little trouble for sure. Now. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. What a shot from that Kevin Holland. Ridiculous. Drops Grady Hurley. Hey, stop, stop, stop. And that yeah. is all. Just like that, the trailblazer, Kevin Holland, ends this fight. This young man is exciting, man, I'm telling you. Throw a flying knee from that close. He's dangerous. Just caught Grady Hurley. That looked like Jose Pele Landy type stuff. Unbelievable, Kevin Holland. Good job, good job. Well, if that is his true self, we are going to see a lot of Kellen Ho Kevin Holland here. Came in on the bubble of the Access TV fights rankings. Might slip in after that performance. Grady Hurley gives us a thumbs up. Good to see. Looks like he's got all his teeth still well, intact. Well, were they checking for a broken jaw? Lance oh, solid on the wow. jaw. And then look at him change direction and spin out of there. Very, very smart. Kevin Holland here and right on top of him with the shots. The referee really doesn't have much of a choice here. No, good call. Here it is. Watch. Knees. Boom. Lands. Spins right away. Very good. Didn't hang out to get pushed back against the cage again. Oh, I like that camera work. Beautiful shot from our crew here in Branson. Nice hustle. You guys on the floor, too. Kevin Holland addresses the camera. Let's make it official and return to Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Mike England calls a stop to the fight in one minute, 24 seconds into the first round for your winner by TKO, Kevin Trailblazer Holland. Another finish for Kevin Holland that makes 10 finishes in 10 victories, and he's with Phoenix. That's your true self tonight. Yeah. Uh, you were like, Jordan, talk about... Yeah, um, I was more like Kobe because I, I grew up in California. I'm a Laker. I'm old. Okay, okay. But uh, see, uh, let me get that shirt too. See, the thing about it was is uh, when they gave me the chance to come back after my bad attitude last time, I knew I had to make the best of it. And I couldn't make the best of it at 170. I I'm too grumpy. But I can make the best of it at 185. I promise you that every time. You got a very interesting corner. Grandpa, stepdad, and coach. Yeah, hey, hey, and don't forget the strength and conditioning, coach. Ah, <laughs> Yes, yes. So talk about what they were telling you before you came out tonight, because, again, you are in a better mood. Uh, they were telling me, be who you are at the gym. Be who you are when you're fighting for, um, my, my, I usually fight for XKO. I love legacy. I usually fight for XKO. That's who I have all most of my fights for. They said, act like that. If I can show legacy that type of personality, They'll love me. So I showed them that type of personality. And uh, I, ha I had a heck of an opponent in Grady Sue. I'm just happy that I was able to, to rock one of these sponsors that's on the mat, Spark Stop, and all those sponsors that was on the banner and this shirt. Nice I'm transition happy. into the sponsors. I'm we we appreciate that here. I'm just, hey, I'm just happy. And if LFA lets me, I guess what? Next time I fight and you guys bring me to Fort Worth, I'll fill out the whole mat with all my sponsors. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you that. Well, it looks like you have a bright future and a bright career ahead of you. As you look at the division, is there anything that you say, you know what, that'd be good for me? You know what, if I can uh, get a, a nutritionist, I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I wanna be the first person for Legacy to have a 170 belt, 185 belt, and if you guys add in extra weight classes, I'll take those belts too. Okay, well, some kale and some quinoa for you, and we look forward to seeing you a little bit more in the ring. Can I say one more thing? Absolutely. I want to say a big thanks to my mom, and second, I want to give a big shout out to Pat Militich over there. He was a, one of the MMA guys that was a part of the May Mac show over the weekend, and that was fantastic. If none of you guys got to see that this man over there was there, you guys are slowly mistaken. This organization's going to the top, I promise you that. And we hope to have you with us. Hey, Absolutely. I hope so. I hope Great so. job Thank tonight. You. Great job. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. The new and improved Kevin Holland giving you love, Pat. I tell you what, he was grumpy last time, and he <laughs> came, he's a brilliant young guy. Yeah, That's the is. thing. I mean, so well spoken and, and very observant. 
and listening to him in the fighter meeting, I went, man, this is this is the guy you need to be. I mean, that's that kid's got a multi-million dollar mind and a body to match, the talent to, to match. So he, he needs to be that guy. Family affair, stepdad and grandpa in his corner. They're enjoying his new winning streak as Kevin Holland improves to 10 and three. Main event time and someone's O has got to go. It's 8-0, Kyle Noblet and 4-0, Antonio Brandau. It's going down on Access TV Fights after this.